Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the cute little baby octopus that comes with the Mama Octo. So this is a really quick and fun project to make. So this is the Mama Octo. This is only available as a written pattern on my Etsy and Ravelry. But today we're gonna learn how to make her babies that are so cute and fun to make. This is a really quick project and I really hope you'll like it. I also wanted to explain that you can use the same exact pattern uh, of this tutorial with any yarn of your choice. So this is seven different yarn uh, that I use with different crochet hook size. Uh, I'm gonna list them all in the description down below, but I'm just gonna tell you which yarn it is and then I'm gonna put the crochet hook size and the eye size in the description down below. So this is Sweet Snuggles yarn uh, from Loops and Threads at Michael's. Barnett Blanket Yarn, Sweet Snuggles Light, Parfait Chunky, Barnett Vel uh, Baby Velvet, Loops and Threads Impeccable, so this is Worsted Weight Yarn, and we have DK Yarn here, which is uh, Yarn and Colors Must Haves. So I'm going to put them all in the description down below so you can find all the instruction and you can then decide which type of yarn you want to use for your project. So something else I want to talk about, if you're new to my channel, uh, this is going to be my third baby octopus tutorial. So I just want to show you the difference between all of them. Uh, so you know which one to choose or if you want to make them all, that's fine as well. So this is my baby number one, the one I released a few years ago already. Um, as you can see, it's a little bigger than the two others. And also the tentacles are different, as you can tell. So these are all made with the same yarn, which is Sweet Snuggles Light from Michaels and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, so we have this one here, which is baby number one. Then we have baby number two uh, that looks like that. For, so the tentacles are different. It's bubble stitch uh, everywhere. So they are quite different. And also this one is smaller than the first one. And finally, this is the one we're going to make today in this tutorial. Baby number three. So it's once again smaller, as you can tell. Very small. <laughs> and the tentacles are also different. It's a, kind of a mix between these two. So it's not bubble stitches, uh, but it's not as long tentacle as this one here. So they're all different. So you can all make them and you can all find them uh, on my YouTube channel. So let's make this one today. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using some Sweet Snuggles light yarn. Uh, from Loops and Threads at Michael's. I'll be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, some 12 millimeter uh, safety eyes, a pair of scissors, some polyester stuffing that I buy at Walmart, a stitch marker. If you don't have any stitch markers, you can use a bobby pin or anything to mark your first stitch of the round. And then a yarn needle. This is optional. If you don't have any yarn needle, you could also use your crochet hook for uh, what I'm going to show you, but I just prefer to use a yarn needle. So let's get started now. So you're going to use your crochet hook and your yarn and we're going to start. And just before that, I want to remind you that this is not a crochet class. So you need to know how to crochet first. Uh, just the basic stitches like the single crochet stitches, uh, how to chain. All of that so if you don't know that you can still try the tutorial but I'm not saying that this is a crochet class and also if I'm going too slow or too fast for you at one point in the video you can always change the speed of the video in the settings of uh, the tutorial under playback speed so let's get started I'm gonna skip the magic ring because usually I would start with a magic ring but I'm gonna keep that video as a beginner as possible so I'm going to chain two instead. So if you know how to make a magic ring, you can do it now. Uh, I'm also going to link the video here or there for uh, my magic ring quick tutorial. But you don't need that to do the octopus. If you know how to do it, please do the magic ring with seven single crochet stitches in it. Otherwise, just follow what I'm doing. So we're going to start with a slip knot. So I'm going to take my yarn. I'm going to wrap it around two fingers. I'm going to create an X, an X here, and then you turn your fingers so you see your nails. You're going to go underneath the first strand of yarn with your crochet hook, grab the second and pull. Okay, so there's other ways of uh, doing slip knot. You can just do it the way you, you know it. 
the goal here is to uh, be able to tighten the loop on your hook once you pull on the little yarn tail here if it's not what you have then you would need to follow what i just showed and then if you pull on the other uh, yarn or your working yarn then it should loosen up but i don't want to do that too much okay so i'm just going to pull it up like this and then we're going to chain two so to chain two you're going to yarn over so you put your yarn over your hook and you pull it through so that's one chain and then i'm going to do that again chain one so we have a total of two chains now uh, if you're a beginner i also recommend doing this uh, tutorial with a worsted weight yarn so it's easier for you to see the stitches and if you're used to plush yarn like this or any other kind of yarn that's fine so i see that i have my chain here and then another one here so i'm going to work my seven single crochet stitches into the second chain from the hook so i'm going to insert my hook into the second chain and for this tutorial i'm also using the yarn under technique so every time i'm doing my single crochet stitches i'm going to yarn under for the first one so instead of yarning over like this i'm going to place the yarn under my hook pull it through and then I'm gonna yarn over for the second one to complete my single crochet stitch. So this is one single crochet stitch. Then I'm gonna go back into the same chain and I'm gonna do another single crochet stitch, yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So this is two single crochet stitches and we can see them with the little V shapes here. And I want a total of seven single crochet stitches. So this is my third. four, five, six, and seven. If you're not sure if you're um, actually at seven stitches, you can count from the end. So this is my last stitch here. You don't count the loop on your hook. So this is stitch one, two, three, four, one two three four five six seven and this is just a chain here that i'm gonna hide inside so this is my seventh stitch and this is gonna be the first stitch of my next round so for next round here i'm gonna insert my crochet hook into the first stitch which is the seventh right here and i'm gonna work two single crochet stitches in it so it's actually an increase so i'm gonna make my first one and here i'm gonna place my stitch marker in the first stitch of this round just so we don't lose count okay right here so i just placed it in the v shape and then i'm gonna insert my crochet hook back into the same stitch because i want to do another single crochet stitch which gives me an increase then i'm gonna do that around so i'm going into the next stitch I'm gonna work two single single crochet stitches. Next stitch, two single crochet stitches. And like I said, you wanna do that around, so you should have a total of 14 stitches by the end of this round. So I'm just doing an increase in every stitch around. I have two more increases and one more. Okay, and this is the end of round two, and it looks like this. So you have 14 stitches around, really important to count your stitch, uh, your stitches if you're a beginner, or even if you're not a beginner, you just wanna make sure that you have the good number of stitches. Then for rounds three and four, it's gonna be pretty easy. You're gonna do one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So I'm gonna do round three with you. So I just removed my stitch marker. I'm gonna insert my hook into the first stitch, make a single crochet stitch, and I'm gonna place my stitch marker again. And like I said, for rounds three and four, I'm gonna do one single crochet stitch in each stitch. So one, I've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, uh, sorry, 13, 14. And this is what you have now. It's normal that the pieces is starting to curl, but I want you to flip it back 
so you have the yarn tail inside so some people are saying that it's a noodle in a bowl so you want your noodle to be in the bowl um, so you don't want your piece to be like that with the little yarn tail hanging there so you just need to flip it back so this is actually what we call the right side of the stitches and this is the wrong side okay so i'm just gonna hold it like this and then i'm gonna uh you can pause the video here i'm gonna do round four the same way i just did round three and i'm gonna show you what i have after round four okay so i'm at the end of round four and it looks like this so we still have our little noodle in a ball <laughs> and now for round five i'm gonna remove my stitch marker i'm gonna do a single crochet stitch in the first stitch of the round I'm going to place my stitch marker back and for this round we're going to decrease a little bit so to decrease it's going to actually make our little octopus smaller so basically right now we're right here so we're doing this round here to make the bottom of the head so for the decreases i'm going to use the invisible decrease technique but you can also use the regular technique uh, so for the invisible i'm going to use the next two front loops of my stitches so what is a front loop is actually the loop closer to you usually when you insert your hook you want to insert it underneath both loops so underneath the v-shape but for the decrease you're only going to take the front loop so like this and then i'm going to lower my crochet hook and i'm going to grab the second front loop so i have my working loop and then my two front loops here and then i'm going to yarn under pull through i have two loops on my hook hook yarn over and pull through so this is one invisible decrease that you, you we've just made so basically you're taking two stitches to create only one and then i'm going to do another decrease in the next stitch so front loop front loop yarn under pull through the front loops yarn over pull through both loops so this is my second decreases a decrease here and then i'm going to do a third one using the next two front loops there we go and then we're going to repeat what we've just made so one single crochet stitch and then three decreases so into the next stitch i'm going to insert my hook into both loops to make a regular single crochet stitch and then i'm going to use the next two front loops to do a decrease and then again another decrease and then one more using the next two front loops and this completes around five and you should have a total of eight stitches around and it looks like this so as you can see it's uh going smaller here just like that at this point we're going to place our safety eyes so like I said, I'm using 12 millimeter safety eyes. Uh, you can use whatever you have. If you don't have any, you can just embroider some or just do no eyes. So we're going to place our eyes between rounds one, two, three, and four. Just like this. And you can do two styles. So you have this one here where the eyes are not as close together like this or you can do this style here with the eyes closer together so i like this one more so for this style here like i said it's between rounds three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. and basically you just place a first eye between these two and i like to have the stitch marker at the back so this would be the back of my octopus and then you're going to skip one little hole here in between the stitch and then you're going to insert your second eye in the second hole so it looks like this and now i'm just going to secure the eyes placing the washers inside and just like that and i'm going to secure the other one and now our little octopus has some eyes like this and now we're ready to work the tentacles so this is the actually the last round which is like i said the tentacles so i'm gonna remove my stitch marker i'm gonna use my crochet hook again and for next round we're again using the front loops so i'm gonna make a slip stitch into the next front loop so this was my decrease here i'm gonna go into the next stitch and i'm gonna make a slip stitch into the front loop only so i only grab the front loop and i'm gonna yarn over for my slip stitches and pull through everything so through the front loop and through the working loop 
If you want here, you can place your stitch marker. I'm not going to do it because I know uh, that it's going to be my first tentacle. So you're going to be pretty, it's going to be pretty easy to see where you started that round. And then for the first tentacle, we're going to chain two, one, two. So it looks like this. And then I'm going to go into the second stitch or second chain from the hook. So this is my first going into the second and I'm going to slip stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook into the chain and I'm going to yarn over and pull through everything. So this is actually one tentacle. I know it looks re really weird, but that's what we just made. That little tiny thing here. So this is one tentacle. And then you're going to insert your hook in back into the head of the octopus into the front loop of the next stitch. And you're going to slip stitch again. And then we're going to repeat that around. So we're doing another tentacle here. So chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch in the head. So now we have two tentacles. One, two. And I want to repeat that around, so I'm going to do a few more with you. Chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Uh, front loop of the head, chain two, slip stitch into the second chain from the hook, and slip stitch into the front loop of the head, chain two, slip stitch into the second chain, slip stitch into the head, only the front loops. And now I have one, two, three, four, five. I need to do three more. Once you're done with your eight uh, tentacle, you're going to slip stitch into either the base of the first tentacle that you made, or if you can find that little slip stitch that we made, you can single crochet, uh, you can slip stitch there too. So I'm going to slip stitch in the first slip stitch. <laughs> That's a lot of sli slip stitches. So I'm just going to slip stitch here. That's to finish our uh, tentacle round. So it looks like this now. Keep in mind it's not stuffed yet. Okay, so we have our little tentacle with, uh, we have a little octopus with the tentacles like this. Now I'm gonna cut my yarn. I'm gonna leave um, not so long of a yarn tail, but at least 15 centimeters or six inches, just like that. And then once your yarn is cut, you can just pull it through, pull it out and tight that just to make a knot. So at this point, I'm going to stuff my octopus. If you don't have any stuffing, you could also use some scrap uh, yarn strands, yarn tails that you keep, or anything that you want to stuff your octopus with. Catnip, if you're using that for your cat. Uh, if this is for your cat, don't put any safety eyes. That could be dangerous for them. Same for a baby, uh, three years old and over, for the safety eyes. Okay? My octopus is stuffed. Now I'm going to use my yarn needle. But uh, like I said earlier, if you have uh, only crochet hooks, you could use a smaller crochet hook. And I'm going to uh, show you that technique as well. So I'm just going to use a smaller crochet hook here like this. And I'm going to bring the yarn inside. So if you have your yarn needle, you can just thread your um, needle. And here I just want to insert my crochet hook at the base of the tentacles inside the octopus because I want to bring that yarn tail inside just here like that and you want to make sure that it doesn't show from the outside and here we want to use the back loops that we didn't use from the previous round uh, I know it could be hard to see if you're a beginner but basically you should have a back loop at the base of each tentacle so if I'm stretching my tentacles a little bit I'm just trying to see inside these little loops here are actually the back loops. So I have one at the base of each tentacle and that's what you want to use. So if you're using a crochet hook, you're going to bring your crochet hook from uh, the inside going out, uh, sorry, from the yeah inside going out like this. And you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through. And you want to repeat that around. So in each back loop, so 
from the inside out like this and if you have your yarn needle it's gonna be the same um, idea so with your yarn needle this time you're gonna go from the outside going in so the the goal here is just just to bring and uh, grab every back loop and then if you're using plush yarn just like me um, it could easily break so after like three or four uh, back loops I like to just pull on it a little bit so really gently just already to bring these little back loops together and then I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing until I grab all of my back loops okay so this is my last so I'm just pulling on it gently just so the hole is closed like this if you still have a little hole here uh, that's easier with your yarn needle with your crochet hook it's going to be harder but with your yarn needle you can just uh, bring it underneath a few bars like this this is actually the back loops I don't know if you can tell so I'm gonna grab this and this just to secure it even more so I really have no holes at the bottom of my little octopus and that looks good to me as we can see there's no more hole and then I'm just gonna bring with my you know needle I'm gonna bring the yarn in the middle of the uh, of the bottom let's say and then I'm gonna bring it out in the head like this so we don't see it anymore and then I'm gonna go back into the same stitch and bring it out somewhere else in the head like this and I'm gonna do that one more time so back into the same stitch and somewhere else in the head and then I'm gonna be ready to cut my yarn so I'm gonna use my scissors like this and you can also push it so if you have a little bit of yarn tail here you can just push it back inside and there you go your little octopus is done that was such a quick project don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like that tutorial and check my other videos as well and you can also follow me on instagram tiktok facebook i'm on all the social medias uh, you can find all my written patterns on etsy and ravelry as well and i'll see you back in another tutorial bye guys